What's up guys, you're watching Johnny Fabs and today I'm going to be working on my GSR Turbo Swapped Civic and today I'm going to be uh, making a custom intake for the turbo so without further ado, let's get into it um, I am going to be using this 4 inch uh, aluminum piece ordered this on, on eBay and then this uh, 4 inch coupler with clamps uh, the filter for it has not showed up, but should be here by the end of this video. So I am going to be starting by pie cutting this up so I can make this really tight bend right here. Hopefully I can make it pie cut. If not, I might have to trim this back a little bit. Should be enough room with the headlight. So yep, let's get into it. So the best way I found to make pie cuts is to take your um, tubing and mark on the top a line straight across and then go straight down and mark another line. So that way when you set up your saw for whatever you're cutting, I have this at a four and a half degree angle. So I put the saw straight down on that point, make the cut. And then for the next cut, we flip it over 180, and then line it up on that point again, and then cut it, and then you end up looking like this. So I did it really thin because it's really tight in that engine bay, but if you want, you can do it a little wider if you have more room. It's a little bit easier to weld. So I got four of these cut. I'll show you what I'm doing to cut. And then uh, we're going to start tacking these up and see how they fit in the engine bay. I'm going to take this, take this line, square it up in the saw, and then lay my blade right on the line. So it's us filming. And for the next cut, you just want to loosen it up, spin this 180. Lift this up. And then tighten that down and then make your next cut right where this blade touches. Line it up with the line. And then it should give you that nice even pie cut, so all of them align and you get a nice bend out of it. So now that we got these um, all pie cut, we're going to test fit it in the engine bay and then get it um, tacked up and see how it fits. So it looks like I'm going to have to trim away on this uh, core support here. I might just bend it down see how much room I can get. But that's the angle I'm going to go for. That way it shoots out. I don't know if you guys can see. But kind of hard to hold. 
But it'll be like that, shoot over and then have a filter right here. So yep, we're gonna get these tacked up and see how it looks. Alright guys, so this is what I have so far. I have these three tacked together and then this one I am going to tack together next. So basically I had to trim away like right there from the turbo. And then it's going to be like that. And then come out. So hope you can see it. I can set the camera down. There. So it's basically going to go like that. And then I have this other piece. I already marked it with the white piece. It's going to go like that. So yep, I'm going to try and tack these together and then I'm going to wait for the rest of it till I get that turbo uh, filter on in so I can mock the rest up so I know where exactly I need to put it. Alright guys, so I'm showing you guys a little bit of progress. So I have these four pie cuts, um, one, two, three, four welded on, and then these two are mocked up. I'm starting to, you know, I had to make this radius, now I'm going to start making this radius. I haven't got the filter yet, so I'm not going to weld those until I get that filter in, and then uh, we can pretty much finalize where it's going to go. So, I am kind of waiting on that, but here's a look at it so far. Let's see, turbo inside, just barely. But yep, it's coming out pretty good. Here's a look at it, and I'll get back to you once I get that filter. Alright guys, so I just got my new filter in for the intake. Right here, it's a Vibrant Performance. Um, I can get you the part number. I'll put it in the description. But it should fit. I haven't even tried it. Um, I was planning on it being like right there. So yeah, that, that's going to work. And then I'm just going to have to figure out the rest of the pie cut. And uh, so eventually I'll get down. You know, connect two of them together. Then I have this to connect it to the turbo with the clamps. So, yep, we're gonna keep moving forward. And then also, I did install a inline fuse for the fuel pump. It goes down and is right here. You can see the fuse under there for the fuel relay. Just to update on that. So yep, I'm going to finish up all the pie cuts and then tack them and then we'll work our way over and we should be all set. So I just got all the pie cuts tacked together and then the filter installed so that's where it's going to end up being. And then um, I might later on route like some tubing up to force some cold air up in there but for now I just have to finish welding all the way around, get the clamp on that, and then figure out how I'm going to connect it to the turbo with that silicone hose because there is such a tight bend right here. But we'll make it work, so I'm going to go ahead and weld the rest up, and we'll be all done with this full project.
All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of making the intake for the turbo. If you did, hit that like button. Please subscribe for more content like this. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Should I grind all the welds smooth or should I leave it where you can see all the welds and all the pie cuts? Here's a look at it. Let me know in the comments.